Hi, I'm Tom. In this video, I want to talk about something I call guest mode. Guest mode is a way of having some of the automations that I've created in Home Assistant slightly alter their behavior whenever we have guests. A lot of the automations that I've added to Home Assistant over the years are driven in full or in part by occupancy or by presence. Presence is where a home assistant will know essentially who is at home. Now at this time, because my children are quite small, it's only really aware of myself and my wife either being at home or not home. When we're both away, home assistant will operate all the lighting in the house in a pseudo random fashion to simulate occupancy. When one of us is away, on an overnight stay, for example, Home Assistant will tell our Mixergy hot water tank to adjust the amount of hot water that we need. There's only going to be one adult having a shower the next morning. The tank will only charge to about 30%. These automations based on presence are fantastic. They give us a lot of peace of mind around security and they also just make sure that we're efficiently heating hot water. When we're not home, but somebody else is here, another adult, things get a bit more interesting. So we had an example of this being a problem last year when myself and my wife both went away and my sister-in-law came to babysit. She rang me uh, at about eight o'clock to inform me that all the lights in the house were coming on randomly and she couldn't explain why they were happening. I think she probably thought there was a poltergeist in the house, but that was simply my automation indicating, you know, since we were both away, that it needed to start operating the lighting in a random fashion. The solution at the time was using the developer tools whilst sat in a restaurant to switch the uh, occupancy status to home so the random lighting uh, automation would switch off. And from that experience was born guest mode. So I'd like to briefly show you what that looks like. So this is the main dashboard that is displayed on the kitchen control tablet. And I've added an entity card here, which is called guest mode. So this is a simple a Boolean helper that I added. And when you switch this on, we now get a second option will appear and that's called overnight stay. Now this is important uh, and I'll tell you why in a couple of minutes. The implementation of this was just done with two, as I said, two helpers. So I have an input Boolean and that's guest mode. And then I've got another one which is called input Boolean and it's guest mode overnight. So that will imply that our guests will be staying overnight. So what is impacted exactly by switching guest mode on. So there's a couple of different things. So the first one is the automated lighting. Aside from the lights that come on outside based on the illuminance, luminescence, the, 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 the light level outside, all the other lighting will essentially stay dumb. So it will need to be turned on um, at the light switch. That's all implemented by Node Red. I've got a very big set of kind of random automations that I've built up over time. So it'll switch the lights on in, in different sequences and stuff. So when the guest mode is switched on, that won't get, it won't get enabled. The second thing that happens when guest mode is enabled is that the default thermostat temperature will climb one degree. Now we sit normally at 19 and a half and we've had a couple of comments and sometimes people come and they just feel a little bit cold. So to kind of preempt that, I just increase the thermostat temperature to 20.5. And that just raises the temperature of the house a little bit and that will make everybody a little bit more comfortable. Now they're the two main, uh, they're the two main things that are impacted um, by switching guest mode on. The other thing that's impacted uh, happens when we switch on the overnight stay. Normally we, this, no, I'll say my Mixergy hot water tank will charge to about 65% and that's enough hot water for myself and the wife in the morning and then it leaves us a little bit for any 
after breakfast washing up or anything that we need. Uh, instead, once guest mode overnight is switched on, the home assistant will alter the Mixergy's configuration and tell the Mixergy that it needs to charge completely. So fill the tank. It also increases the, the temperature of the water in the tank. So instead of just charging to 50, it'll charge to 60. And that means that we just get more hot water for longer. And that's managed by, there's a, a blending valve. So it just means we've got a lot more hot water. So if we've two more adults, they've come to stay, we'll, we'll have enough water in the tank. In addition to that, uh, once the water level drops below 50%, it will automatically bring itself back up to, uh, it'll maintain itself rather at 50%. I think it's actually set to trigger at 40. So if the hot water drops below 40%, it'll basically bring that back up to 50%. And that just means then that if we've got somebody here, we always have hot water for whatever it might be. Maybe the kids, their, the kid, their children want a bath or something. We'll, we'll always have uh, some hot water in reserve. So they're the two main, or the couple of main things that get changed by guest mode. Now to implement the, the kind of the toggling uh, of this, what I've got is, so inside my uh, Lovelace configuration, uh, the second card here, which appears when the guest mode is switched on, is just a conditional card. So that's something I didn't even know you could do within Lovelace. It's linked to the previous value. So if guest mode is on, this card becomes visible. And that just means that the UI is nice and tidy. And when I switch that off, that option will just disappear. Now to give you an idea of how that's implemented, this is an example of the automated lighting setup that I've got. So essentially there's two status checks uh, that will monitor the status of the, the family group. So it's a group.family entity and that's tied to my phone and my wife's phone. And when we're both away, that will switch to not home. Now traditionally that would essentially start all these random, I think these are a kind of a random uh, elements. I can't remember exactly what they're called, but it would essentially turn these all on. And what guest mode will do now is we'll say that if we're not home and guest mode is off, it will enable all of those random lighting automate or random lighting nodes to turn on. That's a quick run through my guest mode. There's lots of things I'd like to enhance or improve. I think one of the main ones would be having an idea of how many adults we're going to have come to stay or how many members are going to stay so then we could be a bit more economical with the hot water perhaps if I only have one adult coming to stay I could probably heat the tank to 80 or 85 instead of charging it all the way to 100 but I'm not going to quibble over a couple of kilowatts of heat uh, here and there. Other things uh, probably would be very useful would be limiting what we can see on the a kitchen control panel. So if guest mode is turned on, there's probably some things we'd like to maybe remove off that just for some privacy, things like the maps, or maybe the calendar and things like that. But at the moment, that's now, it hasn't really been a problem, but it would be useful to, it would be nice to be able to limit that to just uh, an immediate, maybe a, a more user-friendly interface or something that just gives control to the immediate things that uh, guests might want to see if they're there by themselves. So that's it. That's my guest mode, a very brief run through. Uh, hopefully that might have given you an idea or two about something you could implement in your own home assistant. It's certainly been very useful for us, especially as we start to use babysitters and things a bit more. So it's nice just knowing that the house will, will kind of sit it's nice knowing we always have hot water when we've people come to stay rather than faffing around with apps and things on a Saturday morning or a Sunday morning. If you enjoyed this very brief video, please do like and subscribe. I'll be posting another couple of videos um, around my home assistant setup over the next uh, couple of months. I do other videos on home assistant and home and uh, sort of smart home stuff and home heating and things like that. So check out some of my other videos. Uh, you might find them interesting as well. And otherwise, that's it. I'm Tom, and thanks for watching.